This is the video review of Transformers Avenger of Fallen Deluxe Class Mudflap. He's a really cool figure. I got him last Thursday and I'm really excited to show him to you guys. Mudflap is part of the new Revenge of the Fallen toy line. He and he is Skid's twin's brother and I've been dying to get my hands on him. On my hands on him. He's a really fun toy. Really cool looking. I actually think he is cooler than Skid's. And his robot mode and his car mode and I'm just really excited to show him to you guys I've been dying to get him but enough talking let's just get to the figure here he is in his Chevy tracks mode as he is in the movie you see in the back is a tracks this is his missile which is um, located you know what I mean through this slot in the back of his car mode it's kind of see-through-ish black. It's pretty cool. About the same size as um, Skids in car mode. And basically the transformation is just like Skids. Once I saw this panel, I knew that he was going to have a part like Skids where a windshield or something is going to get popped up. And if you saw my Skids review, I had transformed them wrong. Because I overlooked that, so trust me, <laughs> trust me, I didn't, I didn't make that same mistake this time. So I made sure I got everything right with him. So take a look at the bottom. Get to look at his feet, his arms, the wheels, of course, hard plastic. The orange is cool. I'm sure you guys have seen the new trailer where poor little mudflap gets sucked into Devastator's mouth. But he does survive because he hangs on, and that just makes me like the figure even more. But let's um let's get to some vehicle comparisons. First off, with his twin brother, Skids. Like I mentioned before, you see the top, you can see a lot of similarities, especially this panel. This panel only means that pieces are gonna have to shift out, so that's how I knew something had to shift with um with my problem. Let me remove the missile for now because like that I could just do this. You see they're about the same size. They're two very small Autobots. Well obviously they're twins. So you can expect them to be the same size. Some very, they're very similar. Down to the transformation is very similar so you'll get a look at that. My Skids is a prototype so the black hood isn't there and I think the back actually does say Skids on the final version. But I do like my skids. How the way he is with the green hood. This other co-star. Side swipe. And Cannon Bumblebee. Let's see basically the cast of the new movie, which is really close. We're really close to watching the most amazing movie ever made since Transformer 1. Let's bring in Boss Man, shall we? And we all know who Boss Man is. Boss Man is Big Bad Optimus Prime. Let me raise my tripod up a little bit for you guys so you can see it. Let's see. Very small compared to Optimus Prime. Really cool. Okay. Let's get down to the transformation. Hey. Come down, boss man. Okay. Mud flap. I like to start off by gently pulling off the legs and bringing them down. Because if you pull them out too hard, the windows actually pop out. Which is a big problem. They do pop out a lot during transformation. And it's hard to actually keep them in during transformation. Let's just fix the legs. You see the legs are bent forward. They have to be bent forward so they can fit inside the car mode, so just so you know. We flip this upward and straighten out his feet. Okay, same thing here. Straighten out the leg. Pull this up, straighten out the foot. Okay, legs are done. Now you pull out these pieces. It's the side of the car. Okay, like I was saying, you have to be very gentle when you pull out the, the windows. Just pull it out lightly. There we go. 
and slide it all the way down just like that okay not too much force because if you do too much force the windows do pop out so very gently just like that and bring them down so that's done okay the hands are basically basically if, um, stored just like skids you wanna slide them out but this time you have to rotate them out just like that and of course he has a big hand just like his twin brother so you rotate that out as well just like that make sure you push them all the way out straighten this big arm for now you can see his launcher okay now we want to turn them up to here and pop up the hood and expose his weird looking head see the resemblance now fold this piece down now we wanna 180 one, yeah 180 <laughs> I'm sorry I'm always getting confused 180 and basically now we can see more or less what the, the robot mode is gonna look like the panels I was talking about you press this in make sure you pop this window out because if you do not it will make the transformation look very awkward so that's the thing I was talking about that's similar to skids okay now that we're here we want to bring up the windows all the way I like to fold out the the mirrors so they can point out make sure you straighten it out we can fold them back down but for now we're just gonna straighten them out pull out the windows the mirrors okay now we wanna click it down and we gotta push down here so this can come down see the Autobot insignia okay this is important in the transformation you see this peg needs to go into that slot you gotta make sure it's in there there we go okay now you can see that this whole part has to come up here so it can the arms can come up so you wanna fold it a little bit by here okay let me see let me explain to you what's gonna happen here you see this this slot right here this hook let me get a good lighting in it this hook has to go into this slot and it's kind of hard to get into that slot so it's much easier to put it in here but the pro I think the proper transformation is actually this slot but it will, it's actually much easier to do it here but I'm gonna attempt actually to put it into that slot okay so now we gotta look underneath to see if it's actually into the proper slot One second no now it is okay now that I have it in you wanna push this up just like that push it up push it up out while holding this whole front down and that will that will make it actually stay put sometimes it doesn't so you gotta make sure you press up and that makes it stay in place because it tends to slide out a lot let me there we go now we got it it keeps popping out <laughs> so that's why I said it's much easier to actually keep it in the other in this part but just for the sake of review I'm doing it the, the I guess proper way this part you could just leave hanging out for here right here for now and basically you see the robot mode now you just bring down this arm straighten it out and adjust the windows on a little bit you want to flip them up if you want you could fold them up a little bit just like that okay and there he is skids <laughs> skids you hear me mud flap mud flap d banks mud flap not skids okay the missile is inserted into this launcher so you wanna just slide it in and there we have him mud flap pretty awesome toy like you guys you know as I mentioned before this is his twin brother so you wanna get a look at the face you see instead of having the Yoda ears the ears actually 
fold down a little bit, but if they were to actually fold up, he would look just like skids, which has been getting a lot of Yoda remarks. These panels seem to fold out, but just for no reason, because the Mecha Life feature is when you press it in, the head comes down, and all this goes, all this happens. Okay, let's just zoom out. Push him back a little. Look at the body. Another feature is his fist. When you push his fist down, the rocket actually shoots up. See? If you push it back up, it closes in. So when he's ready to shoot, you just want to press the fist down. And he's like, come on, Deceptive Creeps. So I'll leave it like that for now. Another cool feature. Let's take a look at the sides. The back looks identical to skids. Okay, now for some quick comparisons. So you see him here with um side side swipe and skids. So you can see, even though the twins are really short, they fit in right perfectly with the deluxe line. They look really cool together. Twins together. Really cool. I'm going to do a little bit more closer comparison with them in a few. Just let me move them out the side for now. I want to bring in two bumblebees. My recent Canon bumblebee and the most popular... 07 bumblebee so you guys can get a feel how how tall he is himself see he's pretty small for a deluxe but he is excuse me a cool toy and he fits in good with the rest of the Avenger the Fallen toys okay now is the big guy's turn yeah yeah Prime always has to make his presence no I'm sorry for you guys I'm sorry for that let me raise up tripod okay so you see skids is pretty small next to his hero optimus prime okay that's enough enough of that since i want to do some direct comparisons with skids let's bring the brothers closer up together okay like i said they have a lot in common obviously the big arm they Skids also has a cannon in his big arm. They both have the similar Mecha Life gimmick, which is the chest popping forward. See, same, similar. Let me move the camera down a little. Yeah, I was talking about the back being almost the same with the. Hood of the car coming down in the windshield. Two must have toys. Okay. Posability on mud flap. These are ball joints, so you could. Oops! I was trying so hard to avoid that. But yeah, you can see. Here's a ball joint. You could pose them whichever way you want. This is a round joint, not a ball joint, but can go 360. Elbow can move. Fist can move. Head is 360. The waist can't move at all. There's a two. Is a. No. I think yeah. It's a double joint at the kneecap. There's a joint here, and then a joint here, so it's double jointed. The feet can just, are also ball joints, so they obviously go 360. Okay. Let's get one last look at him before I finish up. Especially his face. Really cool, really detailed. And for best quality, try clicking the HQ button on the YouTube player to get the best possible quality.
Really, really awesome. Okay, let's go back to vehicle mode. Take away the missile. Push the fist back so these can go down. Obviously, you want to start with the back. Push this all the way out, just like that. And we want to pop this forward. Let's let's flip this piece up and bring the windows down. We'll fix the mirror, the rear view mirrors in a few. Let me just get rid of this back problem. Okay. Let's first of all bring back the windshield to its original position. Okay. Now we want to turn it 180. We want to bring back the skid's head. Flip this up and plug it back in. Okay. The hands we wanna just fold in there, just like that. Just like that. Okay. The windows we gotta take care of first. So we wanna fold this piece down and then we push it up just like that. Let's do the same thing with the other side. Fold it down and push it up. Okay. Now we wanna bring the windows up and insert insert it right here. Push it. Make sure the window is on the outside of the top because if it's on the inside, it, it looks kind of awkward. So same deal here. Be very gentle with the uh, with the with the doors because they do tend to fall off constantly if you're not careful. So there we go. Now we want to bring these pieces in, which have little pieces so they can click in properly, just like that. Same thing here. And we're basically done. Now, like I mentioned, you have to fold the legs forward, bring in the foot, fold this out. I like to bring it in, bring it up. Hold on a second. To bring this piece up and then just slide it in just like that. It's the easiest way because some and then push it in like that because sometimes it's really hard to actually get the the leg in so now the foot the wheel bring it up and snap it in and make sure the wheel is pressed to the side let's make sure everything is ready this side isn't okay and Last but not least, the missile. So we are done. Final thoughts on the figure. Mudflap appears to be, appears that he's going to be a very comical f character in the movie alongside his brother. If you, uh, like I mentioned before, he's being sucked in by Devastator in the trailer, which makes me feel so sorry for him. But besides that, the toy is a fun transformation. It's kind of awkward and unique, just like Skids, which is cool. It's a very unique, fun, and cool looking Transformer. I recommend you guys pick him up when it comes out in retail. And that's going to be very soon this month. So for you guys who have been waiting to get these toys, it's coming. And I promise the wait is going to be worth it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my review. I want to announce that for my 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a contest. Which the prizes are going to be... Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe and Sideways together as a dual set. In the, fu in the further future video, I'm going to announce the rules. Only subscribers can submit their to be part of the contest. And I'm going to announce rules later. Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is D-Banks and thank you for watching my video. Have a good day. Bye.